يا ايش كي في بدر ون اشلاء 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 ايش نزل كيني ها هي دو بيت وتوصلنا بنزل اكويز اشلاء ناكي they were considered the secret weapon of World War II, the Navajo Code Talkers, a small group of 400 Native Americans who spoke a language no one could crack. Arizona, Arizona, jump gang, go. To the Japanese, it was like speaking underwater, and it was impossible to encrypt by the, by the Japanese themselves. Staff Sergeant Ronaldo Jumbo holds this history close to his heart. The code talkers were his people, and his grandfather was one of them. Artillery, code word. It was plain and simple with the Navajo code talkers themselves. They had one mission, that was one mission only. In code, Private Whitehorse. To send and receive messages secretly. Marines called upon the Navajo after Pearl Harbor. You see, the Japanese had learned other Native American languages, but the Navajo tongue was so difficult to understand, it became the perfect weapon. Our people, back at home, we grew up using, you know, pitchforks, using our hands, washing our, our, washing our clothes by hand. This was totally foreign. This is totally foreign to our people back then. So, to familiarize themselves with Western war, the Code Talkers went through boot camp at MCRD and then basic training at Camp Elliott. This is Camp Elliott. It's now called East Miramar, but the Marines still train here just like they did 70 years ago. The Code Talker sent thousands of messages from 1942 to 1945 using phones like this one, warning troops about the enemy and relaying critical tactical details. Historians credit the Navajo for the victory at Iwo Jima and re-energizing Allied forces. In my eyes, that changed the war. They were at the pivotal moment of when the U.S. needed our help. Regardless of the facts of what happened in our history, we still stood up and stood up for our country. A country that is still using the skills of the Navajo during wartime. We're proud of our heritage and, you know, that's what we stand for. The Navajo Code Talkers themselves, you know, set a really good example for those of us who are in the military as well. As well.